of attempts with low carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do keto diet meal prep for weight loss, coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Counts of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do keto diet meal prep for weight loss. I've got some good, easy keto meals for you here. If first you like this video, smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe, and sign up for my free weekly keto diet meal plan so you can get goodies just like these. We are going today to do three easy keto meals in our keto diet meal prep and for our keto diet meal plan. The first one is gonna be keto chicken nuggets. I'm gonna show you how to make these once and then freeze them so you have to eat off of them for months and months at a time so you don't have to keep you know, spending more money or wasting your time. We can do this really efficiently with our keto diet meal prep. Number two, we're gonna do an awesome fish bake. It's so good, y'all. Uh, it makes applesauce down here. My dog just barfed because she was so excited about it. So th that must be a really good sign. <laughs> That's a really good sign. And your third meal is gonna be bacon, but I'm gonna show you a special Zsa Zsa counified. And you gotta do that dance when you're making your bacon. I'm gonna show you a way to do this also for your weight loss. These meals are easy keto to save you time, save you money, but to help out on your weight loss. And in my 83 pound weight loss journey, I don't know about you, but I need all the help I can get. So let's dive into our keto diet meal prep. So the first step is I'm just gonna cook some bacon up, not because I need the bacon as part of my meal prep meals, I need the bacon grease. So I'm getting these cooked up so I can use the bacon grease for my upcoming easy keto meal. So I'm finishing up my bacon here, just getting the grease because that's what I'm gonna use for my next easy keto meal, which is going to be keto chicken nuggets. Super, super simple. This bacon was from my Costco keto grocery haul. Super, love Costco, love Costco grocery. Here we have some of our meat. We have our pork panko that we're gonna use. We're gonna cut this up. You may, like my family, only have a few people, so I'm gonna show you how to save some of this meat. And then of course we have our Costco eggs from our Costco grocery haul too. So I'm gonna get the eggs set up and our egg wash, get this all set up, get our meat set up, let me show you. Okay, so we know that Costco hauls can be huge and way too much food. I have a family of three, and so we are not gonna eat all of that Costco organic chicken that we bought. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my awesome Sun Life vacuum sealer. Um, Sun Life was nice enough to send me a free vacuum sealer to test it out. So I'm gonna try it if you're interested in getting one. It's in the description link below. But let me show you how I'm gonna preserve the meat and freeze it so we still have keto on a budget and the cost savings from um, our Costco haul. So all of that bulk food is not gonna go to waste during our meal prep. So for keto meal prep, I like to keep a right and tight ship with my time and with my finances. And this is how we're gonna do it by vacuum sealing the excess meat and using it a couple weeks from now or a couple months from now because I'll put it in the freezer. So let me show you how to do all that. So what I'm gonna do is simply take one of my chicken breasts that I'm not gonna be using or any of that meat for that matter. I have already parceled up a bunch of them, but I'm just gonna take this one chicken breast, breast feasibly you could put both in here. I'm literally just gonna take my vacuum bag. I'm simply gonna go ahead and hit seal. It's gonna go ahead and seal this package together, take the air out of it. And then I'm just gonna plop this into my freezer. I did do this, realize I did it backwards because here's the peel part, but that's okay. That's how we learn. That is how we learn how to do this. So now it's completely sealed. I've got the seal on it. I'm my chicken's totally sealed, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer. We will use this at a different date. If you wanna put multiple pieces of chicken, one piece of chicken, freeze it, it can last. Chicken can last in your freezer for six months, but using a vacuum sealer like Sun Life can last for two to three years in a vacuum seal bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my freezer. Ideally, you put the date on it too, so you can have the date portions on. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken caught up. I'm pulling my bacon off because I'm gonna repurpose that bacon grease for my keto meal prep. And a special thanks to Sun Life for sending me my free vacuum sealer. If you want one, it'll be in the description link below. It is awesome for keto meal prep and for keeping your food fresh for months and months, if not years at a time. So this is an easy keto meal prep. We're simply just gonna crack three eggs to use for our egg wash. And then I'm gonna use my pork panko, which will be in the description link below. I like bacon air pork panko. You can use whichever kind you want for your meal prep. You can use uh, pork rinds mashed up. You could use Parmesan and almond flour. This is just personal preference for me. I'm gonna whisk my eggs together. And next for my keto chicken nuggets, I'm simply just gonna cut my chicken 
into little, I like little bite-sized pieces. It makes it easier to fry up, the smaller they are. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these little pieces up and we're gonna start dunking them and putting them into our baking grease. I'm simply gonna take one of the pieces of chicken, dip it into my egg wash, dip it into my bacon air. So there's my bacon, and then this is such an easy keto meal. I simply take one of my egg wash bacon um, uh, pork panko, put it in my hot grease, boom. And then we're gonna make our fried keto chicken nuggets. The dog loves it when I cook because of course I'm messy. Oh look, she just got one. Since this is on medium heat, um, this keto meal cup is super simple. You can make a bunch of these and flash freeze them. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Super easy. If you wanna do this with all of your Costco chicken on one day for your keto meal prep to knock out your keto meal plan, and knock, knock yourself out. But these only take, because they're small pieces, they only take two minutes on each side and flip them because they're so small. Super, super simple and a great easy keto meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off now that they're all cooked. We're gonna put them on a piece of parchment paper and I'm going to flash freeze these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a cookie sheet out. I like using the Reynolds Kitchen pop-up parchment paper because literally it fits onto a baking sheet. Applesauce is very excited about my dropping. So these are now going to go to be flash frozen. Look, applesauce is helping. But basically I took these off. We're gonna freeze these for 30 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and freeze them for like frozen chicken nuggets on a busy night. I will have these all set for my keto meal prep. Um, do you guys see that's the remnants of a four-year-old right there? So let me go ahead and put these in the freezer and we'll come back to them in 30 minutes. Okay, again, a special thank you to our friends at Sun Life. If you want one of these vacuum sealers, I will put it down below. I'm just simply gonna take my vacuum sealed bag. These are frozen. I'm gonna put them in here, seal them. And because they're flash frozen, it makes it really easy for them to be frozen with not sticking together. But you need to make sure that you're not impatient like me and take them out too early. But you simply just put them into your bag. They're frozen, so they're not gonna clump together. And then we put them in the Sun Life seal it and then put it in the freezer and it's all set. And then when you take them out of the freezer, it's super simple for your keto diet meal prep, um, for, excuse me, for your keto diet meal, is literally to take them from the freezer, put them on a piece of parchment paper, put them in the oven for 350 degrees, cook them for about six minutes on one side, six to eight minutes, flip them over, cook them again for six to eight minutes, boom, you're all set. And then have it with some ranch dressing, blue cheese dressing, it's so good, it's so good. Or you could cover these and make chicken parm with them, cover them with some cheese and use your palmini noodles to make chicken parm. That's your keto diet bonus uh, meal right there. Hello, Easy Keto. You can do lots and lots of different things with this diverse recipe. It's totally, totally Easy Keto, Simple Keto, and Sesame Street Chef, which is me, <laughs> approved. So here is our wild, uh, fresh wild Atlantic cod. And the folks over at Sun Life graciously sent me this vacuum sealer. If you want one, I will put it in the description link below. But I'm curious to use these with my excess Costco, right? Like we are only a family of three. So having a big portion like this is going to go bad. It says that the fish can stay for six months in the freezer. Um, Let's see here. It can stay for two years in the freezer in the vacuum pack or six months within just like regular putting it in the freezer. So I'm stoked because I've had this before where it gets gross freezer burn. So I'm curious. I'm going to go ahead and marinate our fish that we're going to be cooking with for our keto meal prep. And then I'm going to be doing meal prep for future um, future times by splitting up the fish that we have um, that we got from our Costco haul. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put our fish into the ones that I'm gonna be marinating simply with some lemon juice. If you have lime juice, some sort of acidic juice, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in our Pyrex containers. These were the Pyrex containers that were on sale right now at Target. They're super, super inexpensive. I will link those in the description link below depending on when you watch this video. But I'm simply gonna put my fish in there for the ones I'm going to go ahead and grill. I'm gonna go ahead and get this grilled up as part of our keto meal prep, but I need it to be marinated. So this is a big old piece of fish. So I'm gonna get my knife, cut it up, and start putting it in here for what I will use today for today's keto meal prep. So I'm simply cutting the portion size in which I want to use. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of our lemon juice down, put my fish down, put some more lemon juice on top. And I'm just gonna let that marinate. I'm going to put some seasoning on top as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Trader Joe's ground pepper and my Trader Joe's pink Himalayan salt. Use whichever spices you want on top. Then I'm gonna do another layer of fish on top of that. More of the lemon juice. more pink salt and more pepper and one more piece of our fish lemon juice salt and i like to make extras so this is a keto dinner for tomorrow's keto lunch you make one do the prep for it the meal prep and the time hack is it saves you from doing it again so i'm going to make more portions for tomorrow's keto meals, A, to save money, B, to save time. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I put some more lemon juice on top of this as well. And you could put some oil on top of this too to kind of have it soak in. I'm not going to because I'm literally getting ready to grill it, but that could be an option to put some really high quality olive oil or avocado in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit in our refrigerator for about an hour or two before I pop it on the grill. So now that I have it put for what I'm using today, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut up for what I'm going to freeze. I'm gonna cut these into the portions in which I want to use them in the future. So I simply will get those cut. This piece is too big for me personally, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And then that way I can put it into my sealer for my keto meal prep. And I'm gonna go wash my fingers because I got fish all over them. So I'm simply gonna take my fish, put it in my little bag, and then we're going to go ahead and seal this together. So now we have the seal, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the freezer for my keto meal prep. Our easy keto baked fish recipe, super, super simple. I've got my fish in here that I had put with lemon juice. If you don't have time to do the lemon juice, no big deal, that's okay. But what we're going to go ahead and do is take a cup of our pork panko, or if you smashed up your pork rinds, whichever one you want to use, and just put it in a shallow dish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take another cup of Parmesan cheese, of course, freshly grated is best, and dump this together into the dish and simply just kind of mix this together to make it a beautiful coating that we're gonna use. And we can make our fish one of two ways. I'm going to go ahead and show you both because it's gonna be really simple. We first take some avocado oil. You could use olive oil if you want. I already have my oven on preheat for 400 degrees um, while we're doing this. I just put some of my oil down in the shallow glass dish. I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, fish in here on top of the oil. Get my pieces set up properly and squish them all and see look they're all beautifully into the dish like that i'm going to take it two different ways the first way is i can take my delicious basil pesto that i got from our costco keto haul and i'm going to put it on top of one of these guys and put them on top of actually both of these guys and i just literally used a scoop that was a scoop as you can see that's how much i put on top it was literally one big scoop so i would say one to two tablespoons, depending on the size of your fish. Next, I'm gonna take my coating and simply sprinkle that on top of my delicious basil pesto. 
And then on the other side, so that's one way of doing it, if you want to try the other way of doing it, is using some mayonnaise. The best mayonnaise is chosen mayonnaise, primal mayonnaise, or making your own mayonnaise. I have Duke's. It does have soybean oil, which is inflammatory, which is not good for you. But I am making the conscious decision because I really, I really like the way Duke's taste. So I'm going to go ahead and I literally took a fourth of a cup of scoop, put it on top of my two fish fillets there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my coating again and just cover that on top of the delicious mixture so it's fully coated. So on the first side, I have my pesto. You could do that all the way around. Or on the top, I have my mayonnaise with my crusted mixture. These will go... It's going to go for 400 degrees for 13 minutes. I'm going to check on it and see if it needs more time because these are thick steaks in there. That's thick. Um, so we're going to go test it out, see how it is. And if it needs more time, we will give it more time. So I, so I double checked to make sure that my fish is cooked and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the broiler for two or three minutes to get the top part nicely coated and crispy. Okay, this is super, super simple. Some people may say, that's not a keto meal. It's totally an easy keto meal and a lazy keto meal. What I'm gonna do, literally my little boy loves this. I love this. You just take your bacon, break it in half, and get a little plate. This is the easiest keto meal. Hello, it's for busy people. And I know I'm not the only busy one out there. I know I'm not the only busy one out there. You literally break them up, take them with one of your Costco guacamole packets, and that's your meal. Hello! You could use one or two guacamole packets with some bacon. Yes, that is an easy keto meal. Perhaps keto uh, diet for beginner kind of meal, but that's okay. And literally, this is five carbs or two net carbs per guacamole packet. It's delicious. Ah, hear that pop? And then you get your high fats, your moderate protein, your low carbon. You will be full. Who out there wants to feel full? I love feeling full. <laughs> this is a filling meal. And you can have, you know, four pieces of bacon, five pieces of bacon. I would just be mindful of your macros for the rest of the day, which will be down in the description link below. Some people get their panties in a wad about nitrates. Go see Dr. Barry's video on that. But this is a really, really an easy keto meal. And we've repurposed the baking grease from that for our, our keto chicken nuggets. So repurposing all of it. Maybe you can't use all of the bacon. I don't know why. But you can always use your Sun Life uh, vacuum sealer to get that sealed up. But literally, it's an easy keto meal. So bon appetit, my friends. How simple is that? And look at those high delicious fats mixed with your bacon chips. I like to burn things. <laughs> and you literally just scoop it and that's your bacon chip, right? Whoa, get a big old piece of guacamole. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe and sign up down below in the description for my free weekly Wednesday weight loss email, all of my keto diet meal plan, tips, tricks to help you lose weight. See you next time guys, bye.